Okay. okay. So once we are done with uh, taking the height and weight of the patient, we'll go in the back of the clinic in order to take the rest of the work. And then right ahead on this chair. Okay, so once we are here, usually I like to make sure with the patient uh, to find out uh, what the chief reason for visit is. And I try to uh, note it down so when I give the chart eventually to the medical students, they know exactly what to treat the patient for. And then, first we will try to take the blood pressure uh, for the patient. So, I'll be taking your blood pressure. Yes. So we have two kind of cuffs. Usually, uh, the cuff, uh, this cuff works mainly for most of those patients, unless the patient is obese, and then we have a bigger cuff. When you take the blood pressure, when you're taking the blood pressure, ask them to remove, um, like lift their shirt or anything they have, and make sure you can access the skin. And then you have the artery index marker, so you want to put it right on the artery. You you should be able to see the artery, or it's usually around here. I'm going to put it right there. And then make sure you close it tightly. Let the hand rest. Make sure the feet of the patient is on the ground and flat. And then all you do is just click this button. It says start and stop, which will take their uh, blood pressure. At the same time, this will measure their heart rate as well. So you'll get both those values from that. And then usually when I when this process is going on, you have to measure the respiratory rate. The way the respiratory rate is measured is you look at this clock and you count how many times they are breathing in uh, 15 seconds. And then once you find that number, you can multiply it by four. Getting the respiratory rate is a little bit tricky, so you have to find out, uh, like just look at the patient. Sometimes you'll see that uh, when, how, when they're breathing, their shoulders move up or down a little bit, or their uh, abdomen area moves uh, in or out when they're breathing. So you just want to uh, f see how many times they're breathing. Usually about it's about four or five uh, breaths per 15 seconds, and then you just multiply that by four. So here you see, uh, you have their blood pressure, so I'll write down blood pressure 117 over 70. Their heart rate, it shows 63. And then for the respiratory rate, I counted about four breaths in 15 seconds. So I'll multiply that by four and I'll have 16 breaths per minute. Next, you can remove the cuff and you measure their temperature. To measure the temperature, you take out this and then you put it or you put a temperature yeah. cover on it or a thermometer cover on it. And then you ask them to place this uh, under their tongue and to close their mouth. And then while that's happening, you can see on the machine that it's trying to measure the temperature. It's 98.1, thank you. And then you can dispose this off in, uh, inside this trash. You just have to click on this and it will dispose it on. And then again, you just write down the values onto your chart. Okay. 